Well, hello there, and welcome to my brainchild known as the Gabban Review. <laughs> I'm just excited because we're about to get a little crazy today, but I do promise there will be no black baby throwing. At least, well, at least we're going to keep it PG-13. Well, maybe PG-21 if that's possible, because today's review is a star-studded movie, movie 43. But to start, let's answer your question that you're all asking yourself, what the hell is movie 43? I know. It kills me too. I, I threw. I was in a month, like months in craziness of what the hell is movie 43? All these stars, what are they doing? Why is it like this? It's completely weird. So, let's start this. Or la there is a storyline, sort of, or or lack thereof, I should say. Um, it starts off with Dennis Quaid who tries to uh, get a movie produced. So he's pitching ideas, and that's what it is. Movie 43 is Dennis Quaid's pitches for movies. The thing is with Quaid's character in this is that he's a little fucked up. You know, he pulls a gun on on, uh, on Greg Kinnear and it's just completely screwed up on his character. It was it was interesting. Uh, now, in each segment, uh, they're, they were directed by someone different and they are also written by someone else as well. Uh, each each uh, little pitch has its own director and writer, which I, I I actually found quite interesting, you know. But here's the kicker: none of them, since they're all just like individual pitches or segments, I should say. Each one of them does not connect. If you're thinking Valentine's Day or New Year's Eve, they're all different to each other. None of them really connect. The only thing that connects them sort of, is there's these little commercials that will be uh, subliminally in, like, the TVs or in radio commercials within that segment. Think of uh, Dan Schneider, for you know, who does, like, Nickelodeon shows like iCarly and Victorious, you know, all that. Like, he, he has, he'll have store names, he'll have uh, product names, and he'll subliminally put them in each one of his shows that he directs and produces and writes. You know, it, it it was very interesting. Now for the casting. You have Dennis Quaid, Emma Stone, Greg Kinnear, Common, Will Sasso, Hugh Jackman, <gasps> Kate Winslet, Liv Schreiber, Naomi Watts, J.B. Smoove, Chris Pratt. Shall I go on? Let's just say there's a whole lot of them, and uh, it's probably going to get a lot of you to the theater, because I know, I know a lot of people who tend to go to the theater just because of some certain actor or actress. I know I'm, unfortunately, I'm one of those few. Uh, but in all in all, it was funny. It, it was completely funny. Uh, you, you know, uh, each segment had its own little charm. Obviously, some were better than the others. You obviously have you obviously have your favorites. Mine, mine in particular was um, Batman and Robin at Gotham at uh, Gotham speed dating. That was very funny. It was it was quite hilarious actually. Um, Mo Owen, it's it's actually a very interesting film. Of of course it is because to have a a different writer and director for individual segments of a movie, it was quite entertaining to see um, to see someone write each part of a film. You know you know usually have usually that's like t a TV show format. I actually kind of find that interesting. Um, and actually, in my opinion, I, I thought it was actually pretty genius that they did it like that. Um, but, you know, it's still a film that I, you probably will waste your time on. I mean, it's a movie that you'd actually just wait to see. That That's what I'm getting at. Wait to see this film. Wait until it's on DVD or, like, on free on Fios or something. Just just wait, okay? Uh, the, sto the thing is that uh, it's pretty much a straight... B minus to a C on this movie um, for the story, direction, acting, and visuality. Um, the thing is that the the actors kept me interested, unfortunately, because you know I love Chris Pratt. You know I, I love some Hugh Jackman. I love all the actors that were in this. Um, it was it was it was just funny to to see all these actors combined into like these little cameo sections. Um, next review will probably be Warm Bodies, so check on that and stay tuned.